Plato's tripartite theory of soul is a theory of psyche proposed by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato in his treatise The Republic, and also with the chariot allegory in Phaedrus. In Republic, Plato asserted that the psyche, psyche is composed of three parts, the logistikon, logistikon logical, the thymoides, thymoides spirited, and the epithematikon, epithematikon appetitive. These three parts of the psyche also correspond to the three classes of a society. Whether in a city or an individual, dikaiosine dikaiosine, justice is declared to be the state of the whole in which each part fulfills its function without attempting to interfere in the functions of others. The function of the epithematicon is to produce and seek pleasure. The function of the logisticos is to gently rule through the love of learning. The function of the thymoides is to obey the directions of the logisticos while ferociously defending the whole from external invasion and internal disorder. Whether in a city or an individual, adikia adikia, injustice is the contrary state of the whole, often taking the specific form in which the spirited listens instead to the appetitive, while they together either ignore the logical entirely or employ it in their pursuits of pleasure. Topic. In the Republic In Book IV of the Republic, Socrates and his interlocutors, Glaucon and Adamantus, are attempting to answer whether the soul is one or made of parts. Socrates states that, It is clear that the same thing will never do or undergo opposite things in the same part of it and towards the same thing at the same time. So if we find this happening, we shall know it was not one thing but more than one. This is an example of Plato's principle of non-contradiction. For instance, it seems that, given each person has only one soul, it should be impossible for a person to simultaneously desire something yet also at that very moment be averse to the same thing, as when one is tempted to commit a crime but also averse to it. Both Socrates and Glaucon agree that it should not be possible for the soul to at the same time both be in one state and its opposite. From this it follows that there must be at least two aspects to soul. Topic. Reason logistica. The logical or logisticon from logos is the thinking part of the soul which loves the truth and seeks to learn it. Plato originally identifies the soul dominated by this part with the Athenian temperament. The logisticon discerns what is the real and not merely apparent, judges what is true and what is false and wisely makes just decisions in accordance with its love for goodness. Plato makes the point that the logisticon would be the smallest part of the soul as the rulers would be the smallest population within the republic, but that, nevertheless, a soul can be declared just only if all three parts agree that the logisticon should rule. Topic. Spirit Thymides. According to Plato, the spirited or thymoids from thymus is the part of the soul by which we are angry or get into a temper. He also calls this part high spirit and initially identifies the soul dominated by this part with the Thracians, Scythians and the people of northern regions. In the just soul, the spirited aligns with the logisticon and resists the desires of the appetitive, becoming manifested as indignation and in general the courage to be good. In the unjust soul, the spirited ignores the logisticon and aligns with the desires of the appetitive, manifesting as the demand for the pleasures of the body. Topic. Appetite Epithematica. The appetite or epithematicon from epithymia, translated to Latin as concupiscentiae or desideria is the part of the soul by which we experience carnal erotic love, hunger, thirst and in general the desires opposed to the logisticon. The appetitive is in fact labeled as being a logical, 
Plato also identifies this part of the soul with the pleasure involved in human reproduction. He further relates this part to the love of money making, which he mentions as being the particular mark of the Phoenicians and Egyptians. Topic. See also Tripartite theology Sigmund Freud's concepts of the id, ego and superego Trinity